Hi, this is Ashley. And Maggie. And you're listening to The Watering Hole, a place where animals and animal enthusiasts regularly drink. Every episode, we'll talk about different animals and why they're cool, from basic biology to the threats they face and what people are doing about it. All while under the influence. <laughs> Nice. I saw you pick that up. I was like, what if she should know what she's doing? <laughs> and then I was about to do it and I was like, should I? No, I shouldn't. Should I? No, I shouldn't. <laughs> what, do you think you were going to break the flow of the podcast? It's so <laughs> professional. Why would you change it up? I was really middle? torn. Well, the, both the, the angels were on either side of my shoulder, the angel and the uh -huh. devil. They're uh -huh. like, do Who it, won? do it. Well, clearly the good angel won because I waited until you were done talking to... So the devil would have been, just don't do it. Just, no, the devil was saying, do it, open it now, open it while she's talking. Oh, you wanted, oh, you wanted to ruin me. Yeah. <laughs> you, yes. Gotcha, gotcha. I thought you were just like, in general, should I do it or not? Oh, no, no, now no. It was a matter of when. Now I understand. Uh, well, I'm just going to keep fiddling with this goddamn mic. Today I was like, I'm not going to wear a crew neck sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm going to change it up. And apparently it was a horrible idea because now I can't get my mic to, to sit where I want it. It's right in your larynx. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to point at your voice box. So I don't know why you're fiddling with it then. Well, What's I feel the like problem? It's gonna move. I don't know. I don't know. It, you're not, like I said earlier, you're not, you're not doing jumping jacks while you give me this animal. Again, you so. don't know. I, I would know. love, like, your hint is now purely it's, physical and charade-like. So actually... A dance routine would fit my animal. Well, that's kind of perfect. So people watching our YouTube, nice little... Uh... The move in question, I cannot do. Especially oh. on this rug. Especially on this rug. Especially on this rug. Yeah. I'm thinking the moonwalk. Is... Are you doing something that can walk backwards? We're getting, we're getting into our animals at we're getting... lightning speed oh, today. We've, we've never, and I had so many things to tell you. I know. We've had a lot to catch up on, in fact. That... Well, do we just get into it? What do you guys want? Oh my God, can I tell you one thing? Please. My ant problem hasn't gone away. Ah, uh, we did need to follow <laughs> up on that. Ooh. But here's the thing, it's not like an ant problem, it's an ant situation. Okay, yeah, because an ant problem would, would mean... be like ants everywhere. Right. It's always one ant at a time. So for all I know, it's the same ant that can't die. I don't, it's always one ant. It's and, just really lost. <laughs> and it's just like every three hours I find him. Uh, mostly on my desk because that's where I am when I'm working from home. What's he but doing? I've seen it in the kitchen twice. Oh. And once it was in the bathroom. So, like, I have no fucking idea where they're coming from. How? I, I would love to see, like, upstairs is actually, like, Pim's office from Ant Man or something. That is, I don't know Marvel. Well uh, just imagine a giant ant farm i'd rather not in the apartment upstairs maybe my neighbor doesn't like me and they're just re slowly releasing ant after ant mm -hmm. into they, my apartment but isn't that weird i've never seen more than one at a time that is really strange this sounds like solo traveling traveling ants right? which like can happen i, I guess but, uh you would assume more would be maybe i'm gonna do ants for one of my animal i should i mean they are pretty cool and maybe i'll learn something along Leaf the way ants. Well, thanks for the, <laughs> what? That was a burp. <laughs> I, know it was. I know what it was. So I was talking to one of my girlfriends that I grew up with today, who is now married with a baby. And I told her I was coming to the podcast, which she knows about and knows what we do. And she said, yeah, I was telling my husband the other day how you used to burp so loud when we were kids. And sometimes you would even talk during your burp. <laughs> like, wow, I really did that? I am so sorry. That's disgusting. Disgusting. And she's like, no, you did it to be funny. Yeah, but was it? Like, still embarrassing. Maggie, this is why you and I get along. <laughs> because, well, he, well, but here's the difference. I thought it was cool. Like, I, I thought, this is how I get all the guys. I, I burp. I could burp my alphabets. I could burp names. 
Um, I was once in a theater production where my burp was used. Wow. Um, you the, are good at making yourself burp. Oh, yours just kind of come though. Like, Mine just come from the depths. That's fair. If I have Unexpected. cereal. Cereal. Or an apple. <laughs> and then of course beer. And like, wow. uh, they are usually cereal. really, really big. My sister and I will play this game where, yes, we will say, try to say a word. Uh-huh. All you listeners out there, if you have a big burp coming, try to say the word Ichabod while Ichabod. you burp. Ichabod. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> and it sounds I can, I can already hilarious. feel that they're coming. <laughs> like, if you have a 12-year-old sense of humor, you'll enjoy. <laughs> good, good, good. I feel like that's most of our listeners. Um, that's fantastic. Um, so I was on a date the other night uh -huh. that you already know about. Yep. Um, but this but is a new detail. This is a new detail <laughs> I haven't shareable. told you that is shareable for public consumption um so we went to a bar after dinner mm -hmm. and apparently he was telling me and at this point we are a bottle of wine a couple glasses of champagne and now two old fashions deep perfect um <laughs> right where you want <laughs> on a first date <laughs> and so he was telling me how he would love to someday make me French toast. That sounds amazing, right? Yeah. Drunk Maggie looks at him dead in the eye, probably cross-eyed, and goes, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he told me this three days later. It was just like, yeah, you were you not were having not it. not impressed. <laughs> Wow. And like, what, I think honestly, that was probably drunk Maggie. Like, I can't fucking pay any attention to right? you right like, now. I have no idea what you're saying. We can't have a conversation. No, 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 what I do don't, you think you're doing? Which is insane because French toast is one of my favorite I things in the world. I love French toast. So, my sister does not like French toast. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? A lot of things, clearly. Right? I love French toast. Ugh. Yeah. My so, favorite of the breakfast options. Um, options. Like Breakfast griddle. Oh, good, 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 Yes, mm. that's my favorite. Then waffles, then pancakes. Uh, waffles, I saw, what is the thing in Trader Joe's that's like, waffles are just a considerate pancake with pockets. <laughs> no, I like them even more. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so that's that. Uh, yeah, that's that. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Good thing we've already have one beer down and we haven't talked about any animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I said that already. <laughs> I forgot! Okay. All right, so you kind of know my clue. <clears throat> Has to do with moonwalking. Uh, so the clue is this is the Michael Jackson of the bird world. Do you oh. know? Is it? Um, it's a group. There's one in particular, okay. but I'm going to kind of talk about the whole group and then I'll focus on this one. But okay. Do you know what kind of bird it is? Are we going to be talking about a bird of paradise? Nope. Okay. Um... There's probably a bird of paradise that does something similar, but this one. Walking backwards, walking backwards. Are there any other hints you can give me besides this um, the Michael Jackson of birds? Here, the name of it, the name of these birds, um, are also um, something that you would put clothes on in a department store. Um, trousers. <laughs> trousers. Yes, I am doing the exotic blue trouser bird. <laughs> What you would put on in a department store? A ma uh, what you would put clothes on, like on a on a, on a mannequin. Yeah. Okay. They're mannequins. There's that's, that's the name of the bird. Yeah. Oh wow. So have you ever heard of them? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Makes sense that you wouldn't guess it soon as you <laughs> haven't heard of them. But yeah, they're called. There's a group of birds called mannequin birds. Whoa. Okay. Um, they're. Uh, let me tell you about them. Yeah. <laughs> would you please? I guess. <laughs> We're really getting to the root of what this podcast is about. Um, so I'll talk later specifically about the red-capped mannequin, but this is kind of, a lot of these are mannequin features, mannequin qualities okay. throughout. It's spelled M-A-N-A-K-I-N. -A -A so it's not like it's, the real mannequin. Yeah, not, I'm, like, I'm not sure. The not, real mannequin. There's no such thing as a real mannequin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, so first is a hole. So mannequins are. First is a hole? First as a whole. Oh, as a whole. <laughs> first, there's a hole. I thought you were setting the scene for me and you were saying, first, there is a hole. They're all <laughs> living in it. <laughs> wow, we're going downhill fast. Remember we were like, oh my God, we got to the birds so fast. I was like, this is gonna be the fastest episode yet. <laughs> I could not be more wrong. Okay, so mannequins as a whole are a family of small perching birds. The family name is Pipridae. 
Okay, cool. Which is super cute. Uh, the name mannequin comes from Middle Dutch, manik spelled M A N N E K J N, so mannequin. I didn't follow but it means little man. <laughs> well, that's cute. So they're very little. There are 54 species distributed throughout the American tropics. <laughs> Nice. From southern Mexico to northern Argentina, Paraguay, and southern Brazil. Um, so I got, I've seen, I think, two different species of mannequin. I saw them when I was in Belize. Um, cool. But they're all very gorgeous birds. Okay. Lots of bright colors. Beautiful. But they're not like birds of paradise because they're pretty round and small. Okay, so the burbs. They're, they're definitely a burb. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure actually I put that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I have it here. They are what I believe you'd call a burb. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, beat me to the bunch there. <laughs> but I decided I would read you some of the names because they're very descriptive. Oh, okay, great. So some of the mannequin birds are the white-crowned mannequin, okay. crimson-hooded mannequin, velvety mannequin, snow-capped mannequin, opal-crowned mannequin, black-backed mannequin, lance-tailed mannequin, orange-collared mannequin, white-bearded mannequin, and flame-crested mannequin, to name a few. Wow, there are a lot. Yeah. And I feel like so many of those names are similar and yet descriptive enough that there's a difference. Right? I, all the ones I listed, the like, the colors I may have, I think most of the colors are different. And then like the descriptive part, they're all different. Like, right. There's so many. If you have like 15 minutes you need to kill, go to the Wikipedia page and just look at them. <laughs> Perfect. Because they're all beautiful. They're all so cool and cute. And they're all very, they're very different looking. Like the color, they're, they're just, they're gorgeous. Love it. Um, so like I was saying, they're pretty small. They range from 7 to 15 centimeters or 3 to 6 inches and weigh between 8 and 30 grams or 0.28 to 1.08 ounces. Why did I even put that in there? I don't, I, I think we get hung up on the details. Right? We do. <laughs> we do. They're pretty compact and stubby with short tails, broad, rounded wings, and pretty big heads. And this is where I put, they are what I believe you'd call a burb. So um, can I go back to you calling them stubby? Yeah, stubby tails. So, you know the word stout? Yeah. What do you think it means? Like, short and stout, like. Right, but define that because thicker. we Thicker. That's what you'd think. You'd think stubby, right? Yeah. Stout does not mean that. I thought the same. I thought stout meant like you're short and squat. Yeah. Like, it doesn't. It means like steadfast and, and headstrong oh. and determined. And so, a guy the other week called me stout and I was like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? And he was like, look it up. Like it is <gasps> a compliment. And so that's uh, that's your fun fact. That's a fun me. fact because have I ever told you my brother-in-law brews his own beer and I wanted him to make a beer in honor of my sister and I, and she's shorter than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. And so I want, and she likes stouts and porters. So I want him to call it short and stout in honor of my sister. Which, <laughs> which is kind of offensive, but now it's not. But now it's not. Exactly. Now it's not. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. They are very sexually dimorphic, mm. specifically sexual dichromic. So they don't, body types don't look different, just the colors sure, look different. Sure, sure. Uh, which is a lot, a lot of, of birds. Of birds. Uh, so females have dull kind of green plumage and males are black with vivid, vivid color patches. So very bright sure. collars. Mm -hmm. you are you getting on that chair, Ollie? Come on. I think about it. Uh, very bright collars or crests or, you know, mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, they apparently have uh, their syrinx. Syrinx? Syrinx. Syrinx, thank you, or voice box, um, is distinctive in mannequins, and so they have like very distinctive calls, and so a lot of them can be identified by their calls alone. Caca, caca. I guess. Behavior, they love the trees and almost exclusively will be in forests. Um, they're woodland birds, primarily in humid tropical lowland climates. Okay. Um, some species have altitudinal Altitudinal migrations, so they'll change oh, altitudes in the season. They'll go, you know, up a mountain, up a mountain down, down a mountain. mountain. Um, and they feed primarily on small fruits and insects. Now, are you ready for what you've been waiting for? I, I am indeed ready for the mating game. Ooh, <laughs> so their reproduction. So they are known for these very spectacular lecking courtship rituals. Do you know what a lek is or lecking? Mm -mm. Um, so it's basically males like they're not. So a lek of let me just read what I wrote because okay. that would make more sense. Okay, sure. 
So when males come together in a common area for competitive displays, so it's different than being ter territorial because they're not like, this is my land. They're just all like, it's more like competing on the stage. It's very all, theatrical. They're all in the Coliseum and they're about to show off their yeah, stuff. Yeah, but no one owns the Coliseum. Exactly. It's just that's where they go. Yep. Okay. Um, so I wrote the bird equivalent of a single bar. Love that. Uh, that's where they're going and they want to show off. So some birds have modified wing feathers that so they can make this buzzing or like snapping sound. Hmm. It sounds like twigs breaking, um, like the white and orange collared mannequins. And I think I saw a white collared mannequin. Okay. So you could hear like as they're doing it, it sounds to me, it sounds like just like someone snapping their fingers, uh -huh. like very loud and like, wow, very cool. And they are able hear. to move their feathers, not. That's how they, yeah, it's not, they're not making it with their beaks or their, their so Sy how do I mean syrinx. syrinx syrinx thank you how are you how are they able to move their feathers listen I didn't get that deep into it <laughs> that wasn't I forgot about that part when I was gonna talk about this other part okay but yeah they modified they can just like I don't know they just move it real hyper fast yeah just I mean I guess like when you snap your fingers you're just moving that's a horrible snap okay so Maggie can snap better than me whatever but like essentially that probably yeah. but with a little wing. I don't know how you buzz. But they have, some have really super fast wing movements and just like kind of general movements. And so the red capped mannequin is one of those. So I'm gonna show you this video and we'll oh, link great. it. So I can, we'll kind of just, I'll describe this video. But basically this bird moonwalks. <gasps> and like moves so fast that it, and moves so fast that it looks like it's just like, like it's not even attached to the branch, wow, like it's okay. it's wild. And also, this one in particular has hilariously yellow pants. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll do, show this to Maggie, but I'll describe it for since this is a podcast. That's Ooh, the mannequin. The, yes, like, I have seen these. Yeah, so you've okay. probably seen them because they've been on like a BBC. This yeah. is a Nacho Wild video, but yeah. they just like move very quickly, and they'll also it looks like they're just like levitating across the branch when they move. Yeah. Get here, get here, get Look at those get there, eyes. Get there. They are like hyper focused. Right? Vivid colors. Oh, there yes. They are. Oh, I've seen this video on like a YouTube video that went viral years ago, like mm -hmm. probably 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And it I was set to Michael Jackson yeah. music. And it's like, hee hee. Because they like, it's literally like they're vibrating so fast that they're just like sliding back and forth on the tree. Yeah. Like, it's like, I don't understand how they do it. And like, they'll like practice these displays and stuff like yeah. that. Cause you know, whoever's the best is gonna get the lady. But it's just insane to me. Like oh it doesn't look real. And they also have, like their head down, which is very like, very, very oh, the lady looking pretty drab. Yeah. Right? Okay. How does that happen? Jesus. But wow. Yeah, aren't they, very cool. they're adorable. Oh, there's two of them, two males. Hello. Hello, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, it's so funny. The yellow pants specifically on this bird are hilarious. Other species of mannequin will also have similar dances, but this mm -hmm. was the one that I guess Stood was filmed yeah. the most. But there's also different um, genuses are more like more dancey, more sure. more uh, have their own kind of niche, more vibrating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> depending, on, I really thought I put that in here. Not that it matters to anyone else. <gasps> oh, you know what I haven't done? Mm. Said the Latin name. <gasps> did I thought you did? No, I said the family Latin oh. name. But oh. the red capped mannequin. Is Ceratopipria, Pipra, mentalis. That sounds great. Yep, that's all I wanted to get to you. So after this mating ritual, after this beautiful display, um, they do not form stable pairs and the female will care for the young alone. Um, with the exception of the helmeted mannequin, that's the only one known to somewhat, it defends its uh, territory to protect its young when the female is nesting, but other than that, males take no care in caring for the young. Typical. Um, not really in birds. Birds usually they got, they're helping each other out, feeding um, wise. Yeah, I guess I'm you thinking of- You don't wanna of, believe me? I'm thinking of uh, like ostriches, I guess. Uh oh. <laughs> do you, do you flight, know? I'm thinking of flightless birds. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's not a lot on their conservation um, that I could find. Um, I'd say the one thing I could find is the Araripe, A-R-A-R-A-R-A-R-I-P-E -A -A mannequin, mm -hmm. is critically endangered primarily from habitat destruction with only an estimated 500 pairs left in Chapada de Arapi in the Brazilian state of 
Sierra in the northeastern region of the country. Ollie's really into Maggie right now. If you're watching the YouTube video, he all he wants to do is lick her face. It's the only thing he wants right now, and I don't know why. He wants a taste of that vegan pizza we had earlier. What is happening, Ollie? I don't know, but this has been happening for <laughs> Ollie. Oh my God. Ollie, let her be. She's trying to listen to me. Ollie, are you done? <laughs> are you embarrassed? Oh, you gave me a kiss. Like, I still love you, oh, Mom. Oh, right. You're here. I still love you. Anyway, um, but yeah, so one of them's kind of endangered. The rest are kind of just dealing with deforestation in general, but none of concern other than that one. Okay. And that's mannequin birds. Very cool. I'm so excited that I got to introduce you Thank to a you. new bird. I'm, I've seen them, but never knew it was never, mannequin birds. Right? That's it's very cool. such a weird name. I also didn't realize, I was like, oh, I'll do this one bird. I know that there's a couple. I didn't realize there are 54 different species. That's a shit ton. That's a lot. And they all, like, I feel like there's, t like, warblers. There's so many, but oh half God. of them look the fucking same. I know. It's ridiculous. I, I mean, I, I think it's cool. It's cool, but like, if you ever are trying to burn, you're like, what's the one difference? And it's like, oh, one of them has a white line above the eye. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Anyway, burned your problem. That is. <laughs> but. <laughs> that is super cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Ollie, did you learn about the bird? Did you learn? Did you learn did about you the learn? bird? I learned nothing about the birds. <gasps> All right. We'd like to remind our listeners that you and I don't obviously discuss what kind of animals we're going to each choose each week mm -hmm. and yet i've noticed that, that sometimes we have themes yeah to like do you have another dancing bird <laughs> no but i have something else that's colorful uh-huh and dances <gasps> it's not a bird it's not a dancing bird okay so what are these what are these hints give me some hints so the the giving the hints is going to be difficult so instead what i'm going to do is try to put you into the frame of mind of whomever named this thing oh oh so that you can name them just basically when i tell you this animal's name you're going to think it's not real so <laughs> the the hint I'm excited. the hint i will tell you is it's an arachnid oh okay now <gasps> put yourself into the mind of a three-year-old Obsessed with stickers, sprinkles, and an easy bake oven. What? Stickers, sprinkles, the the sticky. You're wait a sticky right? No, but oh. you're like I'm. I like where your head is going. The sticky sweet, shiny spider. You're so close. Sticky sweet shiny do, spider. Do you want to try like two out of three? The what else are stickers? The, the rainbow, the, the rainbow sugar. Yeah. Rainbow sugar. What was the last one? Rainbow sugar sparkly spider. Okay, you're pretty much Am nailing it. You're so <gasps> close, honestly. What is it, what is it, what is it? It's the sparkle muffin spider. Wait, no, what? That's not real. It's a real thing. You know you can't see my reaction because your dog just got on the couch. <laughs> but I am in shock. <laughs> All right, so the sparkly muffin spider? Sparkle muffin sparkle spider. Sparkle muffin spider? Yes. It, is, it was actually named by a graduate student in UC Berkeley who discovered it. And was drunk? I So it is a... Member of the jumping peacock spider <gasps> family. Oh, I love those. Right. And if you haven't heard of peacock spiders, oh, uh, they're actually quite adorable. Have you ever seen the ones, um, the Christmas video around Christmas where they're playing instruments? Yeah. So oh, that's one of the videos that God. I think we can probably link to because it's, it's just adorable. It's so cute. Um, this one was discovered, I think, Often. like two or three years ago. Okay. Pretty new. And it's pretty new. There are a lot of peacock spiders out there. And to differentiate this one, like, it's just, it's a brightly colored, also I feel like I'm dressed like one tonight, <gasps> but that was unintentional. That's how you were inspired. So let me just get into their, to, into their description so people can understand why it's called sparkle muffin. Please, please. Um, muffin is really what's getting me. So they're found in Southwest Queensland, Australia, these <gasps> peacock spiders. Mm -hmm. um, and they're so named because of their dancing and, and, their dancing mating displays and how ornate they are. Uh -huh. like, I'm like in their holding off to garb. Look at them. I'm gonna yeah. wait so I don't ruin it. Um, so described as utterly charming, it has an iridescent red and blue striped pattern on okay. its abdomen. Sparkly. It's 
Exactly. It's extremely tiny, only about five millimeters. <gasps> oh. Which I would love to know, like, how do scientists find spiders? How do you find that? Spiders. Right? Should I be checking to see if any of these ants are actually a rare spider that nobody's found right? before? Because it very well could be. <gasps> Um, it was discovered right around the same time as another m new member of the peacock spider fam family? Yeah, fam. genus. 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 And that other one, instead of being multicolored like all the other peacock spiders, it's only black and white. And <gasps> that one was given the name Skeletorus. Oh my god. It's unreal. So th there's a photo of this spider. And like I said, it was recently discovered, so it's not, we don't know a, a ton, ton about it. But um, there's a photo of it in the middle of its mating dance, and it honestly looks like it's trying out for the Rockettes. Like, it's so cute. I love it. It's adorable. But if, it, like, I just described them, but it's a tiny ass fuzzy spider oh! that's brightly colored on its butt. That's, okay, I'm gonna look now. Yeah, you can look now. Okay, question. You yeah. may answer this. Sure. Where does the muffin come in? Yeah, I'm actually about to answer that. Oh so my God. Perfect. Thank you for that segue. You're welcome. Um, so males will display a flap-like body part. Very sexy. I love when men show me their flaps. Flaps. Um, a flappy butt, that's what you're looking for, right? <laughs> oh my god. So it's, it's called a fan, and it's, it's basically like a part of their, their butt. Imagine uh -huh. that. That's not the non, that's the non-scientific name. Yeah. Imagine it kind of comes up from their butt and it displays out like peacock feathers. Yeah. Um, and these peacock, these peacock spiders have a specific and unique pattern to each species. So this one, the mm -hmm. sparkle muffin, has his own. The sparkle muffin, yeah. And, and then they will hop it around. Sounds, sorry, it sounds like a My Little Pony. I know. <laughs> the fact that a graduate student seriously named if, it this. If there's any reason to become a scientist, it's to discover a new species and name it. And name it whatever, and name it whatever, the, whatever the fuck, fuck you want. You want. Ugh. <laughs> Honestly, this, this student, I want to be you. Let's see. The males will hop around, similar to your bird, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and they'll often lift one leg, specifically their median and posterior fringed spinnerets. Oh! Which is just a fancy way of saying like their middle back or their back back <laughs> legs. <laughs> middle back or back back. <laughs> nice, nice. And they're fuzzy. Nice. And they'll display it to the female. F females will usually mate only once, like with one male, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to try out a bunch of dudes and see which one yeah. works. They, they have the dancing to decide, so <laughs> right. they're like, oh, that's my kind of I'd like to go with you tonight. Um, they eat small insect, insects, maybe other small spiders, and if the female is unimpressed with the male's dance, yeah. she may decide to eat him. <gasps> yes! So like, uh, if you're not gonna woo me, your dinner. Your dinner. Isn't that? So I win either way. Mm-hmm. Because either I'm full or I'm satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can well, ask you for. Could be both. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, um, all right. <laughs> so one peacock spider photographer and acarologist said about the, finding this new sparkle muffin and, and peacock spiders in general. I, I really liked this quote because I was thinking earlier, how do you discover this? He said, Despite the large number of species we have discovered just in the last few years, I can't help feeling that we may have just scratched the surface of the most exciting group of spiders and that nature has quite a few more surprises in store. Um, so, I, truly, I, Australia is the most remarkable place on oh the planet. Oh my God. But uh, how all of these spiders evolved to have their own niche, kind of similar to how many 54 species of your mannequin, mannequin birds, birds there are. I didn't look up how many it's peacocks there are, but. It's wild to me, sorry to yeah, interrupt. Yeah, please, please. Just like, I feel like mammals get all, I mean, I love mammals. Mammals mm -hmm. get all the rage. But out of the groups of animals, they're the, the smallest. The smallest. Mm -hmm. And like, granted, there's some very unique mammals. But like, you go to birds, I forget, it's like there's, it's been a while. 18,000? Like like, yeah, there's, and there's only like 6,000 species of mammals. So there's like, there's 5,000 species of bats alone. Like it's rich. Which are mammals, but. But <laughs> but most of the species of, of mammal. mammals are bats. Are bats. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just anything. But just the diversity and uh -huh. the, like of things. And then like you looking like, oh, they are different. Like, so it's wild to me. To your point, I saw a meme the other day that was like, so funny how humans are walking around thinking they're hot shit and like, 
a meteor took out dinosaurs. Like, bro, you're not better than a stegosaurus, you know? <laughs> to be fair, I've never thought I was better than a stegosaurus. <laughs> I, truly. But isn't that just wild? Yes, mammals, we are rather unimpressive, and we're the type of we thing in impressive. kingdom animalia that doesn't necessarily last forever. No. It's the insects. It's mm -hmm. the fungi. Mm -hmm. It's the fish. The fish. Old fucking fish, man. <laughs> Just it, nothing beats an old fish. Nothing beats an old fish. <laughs> I've said it once, I'll say it again. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of wrapping it up with, uh, with sparkle muffins here, but some fun random facts to close out with. The first peacock spider ever, like I said, because there are many of these, mm. and we may have only scratched the surface on how many exist. The first one was discovered in the 1870s. Oh, damn. So a while ago. Yeah. They have different photoreceptors allowing them to see ultraviolet and other colors mm. during mating displays. Mm -hmm. um, also, I put colors in quotes because similar to some animals like manta rays and maybe even some cephalopods and things, mm -hmm. they see they see things differently than we do. We yeah. perceive that as colors, but it might it might be vibrations right? for we'll all we know. never know. Like take some LSD, feel like a feel like a mantis shrimp. Right? You, you know? won't know, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. So all of the peacock spiders reside in Australia, except for one is in China, but <gasps> we're not 100% positive it's a peacock spider. Mm. Also, fun fact, females can rotate their abdomen 180 degrees during mating. My notes? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Maggie was feeling spicy. I was she feeling was so doing really spicy. spicy. <laughs> um, and that's how we're gonna end it. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! Oh my god, I'm looking at pictures of them, and they're just so fucking cool. Like they're cute. Also, the Skeletorus, like chic as fuck. Honestly, like I would wear that outfit. Right? I I just think they're just so cool. Mm. So I have to ask because I feel like you always come with such unique species. Yeah. I always feel like Tam should have done something cooler. Yeah. How did you find this one? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Mm. This is completely unprompted. I'm so glad you asked. I was talking to my dad the other night and I said to him, I don't know what animal to do for the yeah. podcast. And he said, sparkle muffin spider. Oh my God. Thank Didn't you, you dad. dad. <laughs> what a great recommendation. Honestly, it was so good. And I, I think my response to him was, no way, that's fucking real. <laughs> which, is, which is fair. Yeah. Because yeah. that was my response. <laughs> Um, so, I think my love yeah. language now is people suggesting animals for me to research. Honestly. I just, daddy knows me. No. <laughs> it goes, Thanks, dad. Physical touch, quality time, recommending animals to me. <laughs> Talk to me about animals. <laughs> um, fantastic. So that's it. What a dancey episode. Now I want to go have a dance party. Oh my gosh. We should just break out into dance for our YouTube videos. Chug these beers, right? As a bonus episode, Maggie and I will perform... We'll each do our both best impression of our of animals. Of our animals? <laughs> oh my god, we should actually just do that. Uh, yes! Maybe, maybe not, I'm not adjusting any of these cameras, so. You don't have to adjust them. They I have... can't moonwalk! Okay, Maggie, you go. I'll cut this out for the podcast. <laughs> You're gonna kick your dog in the face? <laughs> wow, look at that flexibility. <laughs> oh, you hit Argos' nose! He doesn't care. As long as it's not his toes, he doesn't care. <gasps> All right. My turn. Boing. Oh! <laughs> you landed on his head. It's like he's We're going to cut this out of the podcast, but it will, we'll announce it on social media that it'll be a bonus. Bonus. YouTube. Bonus segment. Okay, you ready for mine? <laughs> yes. Well, here's the thing. So they do kind of do Michael Jackson, but they also just do a lot of hey, stuff like that. So you got to move. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I, there's only so much room. Ready? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong! <laughs> it's because I'm getting the back view too. <laughs> That's the best part! <laughs> Alright. That was great. That was All great. Right. Tune into the YouTube video to see us dance. Because <laughs> we want to include that in the podcast. You just hear weird shuffling. In the audio. Anywho. Oh, I think, uh, am I supposed to close this out because you opened us? Uh, probably. Where the fuck is it? You rewrote it. I know, I gotta go find it. I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I've been working out. Well, it hasn't caught up yet.
So just a reminder, we're animal enthusiasts. We're not scientists, so don't cite us. Uh, go do your own research. That's it. Yep. Uh, thanks for joining us on this episode. If you like our podcast, make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening and leave us a review. It'll help us reach more animal enthusiasts just like you. You can also find us on Instagram at The Watering Hole Pod, on YouTube at The Watering Hole Pod, and you can visit our website, guess what, thewateringholepod.com. <laughs> Tune in next time when we learn about more animals, their biology and habitat, the threats they face, and what people are doing about it. Bye!